Hi everyone, it's Lucinda and Trish from the Bees and Knees coming to you late today. <laughs> Another busy day. Well, it was going to be earlier, but uh, people kept coming in. Which is in. great. We love customers coming in the shop yes. and we had boxes of stuff to unpack. It's two weeks before Christmas and things are still arriving. Oh my goodness. That please. should have arrived a long time ago, but we're happy they're here. <laughs> And we hope you are too. So what are you going to start with? So first of all, we did get another Cornish stitch. Oh. See, it's late. I'm too busy. I can't speak. <laughs> Cornish wear shipment. And for the first time ever, we've got these fabulous cake stands. Because there's a two-tier cake stand and a three-tier cake stand. And they both come in the blue and the red. We have them both in blue and red. So fabulous. For your favourite, all those Cornish wear fans, have your afternoon tea. Yeah, um, that bit, that, this, the red would look great on a Christmas table, wouldn't it? Yes, yeah. imagine with yeah. cakes, cupcakes yeah. on and stuff, yeah. yeah. Okay. So they're brand new at the Bees Knees, we haven't had those before. And also these mugs in the different colour, we're trying to get more of the colours and we were able to get these. Um, the Turkish blue and the summer rose in 12 ounce, which we had before. We also have them in 10 ounce, but these need to be added to the website, so just give us till tomorrow on those ones. But that's the um, those colours that we had before. And even more exciting that I get very excited about is uh, our Silverwood um, shipment arrived. And this finally. is, yeah, finally, mm. this is the um, handmade uh, from Birmingham bakeware that they use on the Great British, well, tell me again. The Great British, British Baking Show or the Great British Bake, bake Off in the UK. Yeah, I always get but the here it's called the Bake Off Show. Baking show. Oh, okay. We shouldn't do lives this late. <laughs> So what did we get? So um, a lot of people, let's start off, were waiting for us to restock on the very popular, and if you want one, get it quick, multi-size cake tin, which is the cake tin here that you, you basically can sort of move the dividers around um, to make whatever size of cake you want here. They've got one cake. You can see the different formations. You can, you can basically have it any way you want. And I see they've got a new picture on here which they're cleverly baking four different loaves of bread in it. Mm. And then... And if you want to make lots of tiniest, even smaller cakes, you buy the extra dividers and then that gives you even more options on, you know, how you arrange the cake. Yep. Very popular, sold out very quickly and we have a waiting list of people who have already been notified. Get them quick while we have them. Yeah, yeah, great yeah. Christmas gift for any baker. Oh, um, yeah, very, and, very just, and we've definitely had, I mean, Trish has used this bakeware a lot and I've used it more recently, but customers come in and said, oh, it's everything you said it was. And they're, they're, coming, they're coming back for more. It doesn't warp and it, over time it develops its own patina. So it becomes more and more nonstick um, and it's fantastic. Like things like this cookie sheet, which is actually used practically every week on the bake yeah. I see this on there, yeah. um, will never warp because it's anodized aluminium. It's just amazing stuff. That's and it's also, that's aluminum. Aluminum, sorry, and it's it's so light, you know. Sometimes yeah. those great honking things. This is so light; it's fantastic. So we have a few of those, not many, of the cookie heavy duty baking sheet. That one's cool if you want it. Um, what else did we get? Um, this is a new one. Yes. Um, we had this. Did we have? Oh no, this is a loose. Oh no, it's a it loose one. Loose one. So it's an eight inch um, deep fluted flan. So for making, you know, a deeper like a quiche, I think this would be great for a quiche. Great for quiche. Yeah. Yeah, really good. And it has the. Um, the removable base so you can always just you know lift the cakes up which is really nice so that's the deeper one and then the more traditional uh shallow nine inch shallow yeah. for like say for um like fruit tarts and things like that yeah and you could do a quiche in that one but if you want a nice chunky filling or any savory tart the deeper ones one, are the better isn't it? i love one of julie jones pies oh yeah i might have to take oh, one yeah. of those yeah oh, that'd be really good and then um, this is one we had before, um, the fluted. That's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, the fluted pie dish. The, and this one you can do a double crust pie, and it crisps the bottom because the heat, the way the heat travels through this um, this metal, it doesn't have a soggy bottom. No soggy bottom. No soggy bottoms. <laughs> Paul, and Prue. Paul and Prue. Um, very popular. We have this, and we also have the individual ones that are back in stock, which I think I have it up here. Sticky toffee pudding is all we have to say about that. But yeah. obviously, it's a pudding cup or mould. You can do anything in it, but sticky toffee is the one, one to, to do. do. Is it there is. a recipe on the back? There isn't a recipe, but um, I use the Delia Smith one. If anybody's interested, I can share it. It's a winner every, every time. single time. My husband just has to. Oh my god! He loves and my daughter makes Christmas. them, and we'll be having them Christmas Eve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's another um, new one. I'll grab it out. Another fluted. Flan dish. If you want something a little bit more fancy, mm -hmm. a little bit more special, I would say for fruit pies and yeah, um, they call that up the road, the petal pie dish. It's pie. 
very sweet, very nice. And that again that still has the loose loose bottom on it, so or base they call it. We should stop using it. The word bottom, yeah. And then the panettones which we sold out of. Um it's kind of a Christmassy thing, it's isn't it? I think people must be making them at Christmas. So we have a six inch and a seven inch yeah. um in the yeah. panettone. And so they've got the loose bottom, which is actually very key with one of these, because getting it out yeah. there would be a bit of a and I've never made a panettone. No, I have you? Yeah, Anybody there that. what made a panettone? Yeah. yeah, I think we have. We've sold quite a few in the past. Um, we also have those, the loaf tins for meatloaf. Also or any so loaf. They really? sold out as well. Yeah, so that's a one pound and that's the two, two pound. pound. And these are good solid um, tins and they've got that little lip there for you to hold it by. Um, that's a lifetime pan as well. Yeah, yeah. They so that's the two pound time. and the one pound. Um, I'm missing a dish here, but I'm going to go and get it in a minute. This is, um, we've already sold some of these. The Yorkshire pudding one, which is popular. That is the ultimate shape and size for Yorkshire. And I've used muffin pans here or, you know, little pans like that. But this is a wider, shallower, and it makes it fold, you know, it makes it rise up more oh, quickly. Oh, up to about there should be. And it's the perfect shape for Yorkshire pudding. need to try those too. Um, and the simple Simon, which you've seen that we've shared our pies that we made yes, with those um, when we did the ju from the Julie Jones book. Yeah, see if you can find um, a picture. And these, these, um, all these little, they come out, these little sections. So you can make one big pie and just keep the end, end ones in. Or you can make two sort of pies here by taking the middle bits out. Or you make the six individual pies. It's very versatile. Um, and they're gorgeous. There they are. I made these, so this is the tart from oh, the Julie Jones book. And they were gorgeous. Julie Jones works with Silverwood and has her line. Um, but I made these with her pastry, but her hot watercrust pastry is absolutely delicious. I made them in the summer. Yeah. Um, and it was quite easy, really. It wasn't mm. difficult. It wasn't no, it's difficult. like you, you have to fill around, put them books, but the hot watercrust pastry is so easy to work with. Yeah, and she does great instructions. And she does great instructions. Very so that's the pastry school we have. Julie Jones two books. That's a great Christmas gift actually. For any baker, yeah. fabulous Christmas gifts, the Julie Jones books. And then a restock stock of the classic sandwich tins uh, for your Victoria sponge cake or whatever sponge cake you're making with the loose spaces again, the eight inch and the seven inch. And there's one more, keep talking, keep talking. Keep talking, keep talking. So keep yes, talking. I've got to put panettone on my list. <laughs> I'm now craving my little pies again because they were so delicious. This is a new one. And what's fish got here? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> this this one. is actually pretty good. Because, you know, it's made in England, but this really is like, I, I think, a brownie. Do you think a brownie? Right, yeah, 13 by mm. 9, which is many recipes here call for yeah. 13 by 9. Um, tray bake, very European. Look at those, like, sharp sides, you know, but, you know, straight up on the sides, with sharp corners, but loose base. Mm -hmm. So you've made your tray bake, you put, um, like, a bowl or a, a mug underneath, and you can push it up and get it right out of the tin. Yeah. Huh? I mean, why wouldn't they be made like that? I mean, it's so Love obvious, them. isn't it? But what a tin. That's a really good one. Yeah, I'm sure they've used that one on yeah. the bake off. Yeah. Oh, so God. that's Silverwood. We're so excited it's finally here. Uh, thanks for the patience of those people who've been waiting for the pieces. Mm. But another exciting arrival today. We could have sold Christmas crackers, I don't know, forever and ever. But we sold out of our first shipment and we were luckily able to um, get more in. Show the hall, Wendy. <laughs> so we have... Um, Three different ones with 12 in. This one, these are the cookie cutter ones. They, this is the prizes inside a lovely uh, little cookie cutter. So, so you get the snap, you get the hat, the joke, and, and you get your gift, don't you? You get yeah. your gift. Yeah. So that's the cookie cutter ones. That's a t pack of 12. So yeah. that's good. Because sometimes six isn't enough for a lot of Christmas. Well, yeah, however many you've got. Um, then this is another pack of 12. Beautiful sort of white and holly on there. And that's slightly uh, upgraded gifts there. Beautiful, huh? And that's a good good fun on Christmas morning. This is a, a nice, I'd say, a family pack. So this is a pack of 12, colourful, got your Christmas pudding on there. Very nice. And then, you know, things that will appeal to all age groups on yeah. here. You know, have got some uh, puzzles and games as well. And then these, which are like the luxury ones that have just got six in. Yeah. Well, but they're, and they're quite a bit bigger, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're a bit longer. They're a bigger, you know. I think this is a 12 inch and this is a 14. 14 inch. So this one is just a box of six and it's got some more upgraded gifts on there. But yeah, so very again. Nice.